Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about the Philadelphia 76ers potentially trading for two-time All-Star Zach Levine, as today we heard that the Chicago Bulls are open to letting go of two-time All-Star Zach Levine, and Zach Levine is willing to, you know, move on from the team as well. Both sides are willing to move on from each other, just it's looking as you know, as a matter of when a deal gets done for Zach Levine. The three teams that have among as favorites to land the two-time All-Star are the Philadelphia 76ers, the Los Angeles Lakers, the Miami Heat, and even the Toronto Raptors have jumped conversations as well. Uh, I think it would be great for either four of those teams to acquire Zach Levine. Let's go over what he's done this season so far. In 11 games with 11 starts, I believe the Bulls are like 4-6, and six, and... They he's been getting thirty five minutes a night, and he from shooting he's been shooting forty one percent, and from three he's been shooting thirty one percent, which actually is a career low for him right now. the 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 lowest he's ever shot from three in a season was his rookie season when he shot thirty four point one percent. So this is a career low in three point percentage right now for him, and at the free throw line he's shooting eighty seven point nine percent. He's averaging twenty two points per game five rebounds per game, three assists per game, and one steal per game right now for the Chicago Bulls. Last season, he averaged 25 points. Oh, and also, he does have a 50-point performance this season. I think he scored 51 points against the Pistons really early in the season. Uh, it's early in the season in general, but we're talking about first week of the season, first weekend of the season. Last season, he averaged 25 points per game with four assists and five rebounds per game with the Bulls. Uh, he shot 37.5% from three and played in 77 games and 77 starts. Uh, 2021-22 season, he was an all-star in 67 games and 67 starts, 35 minutes per game with 24.4 points, points per game, and he averaged five rebounds per game with five assists per game. Then his best season in the, in the NBA, this year he was an all-star 2021 season with 27 points per game, five rebounds per game, five assists per game, two steals per game, and from three, he shot 38%, which is almost a career high for him. 2015-2016 uh, season and 2016-17 season uh, are the best years he shot from three. Also, uh, oh, wait, you know what? 2020-21 season was the best three-point shooting year. I was looking at 2019-20, he shot 38%. 2020-21 season, he shot 42% from three. And that was only in 58 games and 58 starts. So he didn't miss... Well. Uh, that season there was only seventy two games because of the NBA. That was the, that season was shortened, so he only missed fourteen games that year. Um, so for the seventy six ers to acquire Zach Levine would be great. Pair the, you know him up with Joel Embiid and Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. But what is that going to cost? I believe it would probably be, you know, a good majority of the assets they acquired for James Harden. Um, and then Marcus Morris Sr., uh, Nicholas Batum, and Robert Covington, and two first round picks, if not three first round, two first round picks, two second round picks, and one first round pick swap. I think that deal would probably get it done um, for the Bulls to let go of Zach Levine, but we'll see. Um, it should be interesting, though, uh, whether the Bulls let go of Zach Levine, and if they do. Where is he going? Is it to the Lakers? I don't know what they would let go. Maybe D'Angelo Russell. Uh, is it to the 76ers? Is it to the Miami Heat? Can they finally land somebody after you know, failing to get Damian Lillard? Or is it potentially the Toronto Raptors as a sleeper? That's it for the video, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the potential trade, and peace out.